Welcome back to part two on a series of the Steiner 430 Max and some of the attachments. Today we have the Steiner 54 inch two stage snowblower. This particular snowblower is a 2018 model. I got to use it twice this winter. Uh, one storm we had was 12 inches of snow, had no problem throwing it. It was a very heavy, wet snow. Uh, you run it at about 3600 RPM on the Kubota diesel in this machine. The snowblower measures 54 inches to the inside of the box. Now this model here happens to have the wing extensions and that will put it out to 59 inches wide for a cut pass. This is model... 7570667 Attaches just like all the other Steiner attachments. It is a belt driven snowblower, so it's going to drive off of the front Steiner belt system, which you can see right here. It does have a hydraulic chute rotation. And this one is also outfitted with the optional electric chute deflector, which will raise and lower this chute. You do get heavy duty adjustable skid shoes. It has multiple adjustment points where you can raise and lower the skid shoe. All in all, just a really heavy duty built snowblower. Uh, does have hydraulic chute rotation. It is geared so you can see the teeth there and it will actually rotate it hydraulically. So even if this were to get full of snow or frozen, it's never going to stop. One of the nice features they came on this snowblower was they have this handle right here and you can flip this foot down and it'll allow you to set the snowblower down and it no longer will flop down on the ground. It will hold it at the height that you need to pull in and hook up and disconnect. When you're not using it, you just flip it back up. Quick connect hydraulics, just like on all the Steiners. It's gonna be the quick release system, so you're in and out. Here's where I connected the electronics or the power for the chute adjustment. Just a four-way trailer plug. If you check out my video on the V-Plow, you'll see that we use the same plug on the V-Plow. Just pops in and out, makes it real easy. When we're not using it, we just throw it up here. Now that four-way plug is connected to this switch right here. And it's a momentary switch. So if you push it this way, it'll raise. And if you push it this way, it will lower the chute height that comes out with the snow. Here is an extremely simple drawing of how I wired the switch for the chute adjust motor. So you have a double pull, double throw switch and you're going to hook up opposite contacts down to the negative of the battery and then you're going to have the other opposite contacts down to the positive of the battery. Then the center two, it doesn't matter which one to which, are going to go over to your switch motor. When you flip the switch this way momentary, it will send negative and positive out and move the motor one way. When you flip the switch the opposite direction, it will send positive and negative out and send the motor the other way. Extremely simple, extremely easy. Make sure you put a fuse on the positive lead going into the switch. That way, should you have any problems or the motor were to short out or back feed in in any way when you're hitting the switch momentary, it would pop the fuse and not fry the motor.
Thanks for checking out the Steiner Snowblower. Part two of a series of attachment reviews.